Hey everyone, it's Nancy and I'm back with another video for Wild Orchid Crafts for the Wild Munch and I wanted to share this latest project with you. This is an altered book box and it has a small mini album inside of it. Um, this box was just a regular paper mache little box that you can get at your local craft store. And I did the crackle technique on it. The colors that I used, I used the Peach Bellini from Ranger and I used this Coral Craft Smart paint as the bottom and of course the Crackle Medium and then I used the Vintage White Folk Art paint so that's the color that I got and I used the two the lighter and the darker of the peach tone so there's a little difference in the hues under the crackle and then I inked all the edges using a little bit of antique linen and some tattered rose and gathered twigs distress inks and then the paper on the front this is a lady's diary from graphic 45 and I used this gorgeous image here and then these flowers were fussy cut out around their little edge and then I fussy cut out this piece that says a lady's diary and I added these two butterflies from watercraft there's a silver one under there and then this peachy tone one here and this is a metallic one and then this is a satin one and on the front I used two of the small silver corners can see them there and these were really really bright so I put a little bit of the silver rub and buff on them just to tone them down a little bit and then the flowers from Watercut Crafts there's the trellis roses these two come from the mixed orange tone packages and then a gardenia this is in light mocha and I use the silver ribbon slide the circle one in the center with a pearl from a sash and there's a couple of the light ivory, the hip rosebuds tucked in here. And then a couple more in here. And then this is a cottage rose. And I love this color of these roses. And then tucked in here, this piece here. And then the other half here. This is one of the filigree metal flowers. And I, they come in an antique gold and I just alcohol inked them silver and then put a little bit of silver rub and buff on it to give it the same kind of hue as the corners and then on the side there's another trellis rose and then the large wild rose buds and then a couple of the small little hip rose buds in there and it's just a recollections flourish that I cut in half and put half on each side so then when you open it up can see here the crackle medium and then there is a little mini album in here so this is the cover and the papers in here are from the ladies diary from graphic 45 and I used it the base of it is a craft paper you can see the hinges there and so I fussy cut out this image as well as the clock and the flower up here and this image here and there are there's one of the lilies this is the white lily and then the 15 millimeter open rose and the 10 millimeter another 10 millimeter here and then some hip rose buds then the first page um, a couple of fussy cut images and then some of the small pearls on a string and then crocheted flower and then the little tiny six millimeter rosebuds here this side I just added some of the small halfback pearls and this is a little um, not a full pocket but you can slide things in and out it's just some of the images from the paper Then this page again it's just got a strip here just to hold these this is one of the tags from the collection and I put one of the crochet flowers on there 
and then this page the small rosette trim and the light ivory and then I put some of the halfback pearls the self adhesive pearls in the center of those and then this page I had fussy cut out this image and put it here as a little pocket and these just took in there and then this lady's diary also helps to hold those in place and I love this clock page and I use some of the light ivory small rosette trim here as well again just another partial pocket here with a couple of the images from the paper then on this page some of the open roses and I believe these are the 20 millimeters Then this, these tags go in here. There's a little pocket there. Another tag with a crocheted flower. Some more of that small half pearls on a string. Some more of that small rosette trim here. And that's it. I needed it to stay pretty much flat <clears throat> with not a lot of really thick embellishment so that it can go in the box and the box can close. So that is my project. I used a ton of Watercut Craft products in here and I will list all of the items down below for you as well as a link to the store. Um, make sure to check out the other um, design team members on the Watercut Crafts YouTube channel and also to help us to welcome the four new designers that have joined the Wild Bunch. So if you have any questions just let me know and thanks for watching. Talk to you later.